Hey everybody, Karen Bright for MMA Heat. I'm here, of course, with Nick Hine, who is fighting Davi Ramos at UFC 224 in Rio. We are at our good friend Anthony Hardonk's gym here in Santa Monica. It's called Dynamics. Great place uh, if you ever want to come and train. So why is it that you, sir, come here to train with Anthony? Um, basically, like two years ago, I, uh, I tried it out. I wanted to see, like, you know, you always say the grass... The grass is greener on the other side of the pond. You know, I was training in Europe and then in Thailand for most of the time. So I tried it here. After a week, I decided to move here. And now I'm living here, like, really like, down the street. <laughs> yeah. And I'm training every day with Anthony. Not to, not for nothing, your tan game is better here than yeah. when you're training. So, ab <laughs> absolutely. But, you know, I was, I was really angry beginning of the year. No sun. Raining a lot, you know, I was really complaining a lot, but you know, finally, you know, the sun came out. Nice, very nice. Well, this is a big deal fight for you because we haven't seen you in a while. So let's catch people up. The last time we saw you fight was in 2016. Why has it been so long? I had really bad luck uh, with injuries. Um, also, in uh, 2016, was the same. Like, um, I was supposed to fight in Rotterdam. Mm -hmm. And I had like a disc prolapse on my C7. It was it was horrible. I couldn't move um, my arm like in fight week, so they canceled the fight. Almost the same thing happened. Um, yeah, last year I uh, like three weeks out. I got head kicked, and uh, suddenly like um, I don't know. Like a couple of days later, I I like I was sleeping, and then I I had a sharp pain in my back. Which basically made me, like, I couldn't sleep for three days in a row and then I had to go to a hospital and then they took, like, a, how you call it, MRI. Uh -huh. And they said, that looks bad, you know, there was a edema in front of the, the how you call it, the disc yeah. and um, they had to cancel it again. So again, Rotterdam, yeah. which upset a lot of the, a lot of my fans too. So yeah, it was, was two, two times bad luck. Well, and I know there is obviously a Germany show coming up, uh, and it might be too soon for you to turn around and fight there again yeah. uh, right after May, um, after this fight in May. But let's talk about this. So what do, um, and people should know, like, let's say, th there's always new fans, right? And everybody talks about your division being the toughest division, the lightweight division. So if I were then to explain to somebody, well, you got to see Nick Hine, do we start saying you are a judoka? Like, w how do, would you describe yourself? How should I tell people to, oh, to get introduced? To be honest, <laughs> to be honest like, I, uh, when I... I started as a judoka, most of my fights in the beginning of my career, I, I threw people, I tried to put them on the ground, beat them up on the ground, and then, you know, somehow I, I translated into boxing, then I kind of avoided the takedowns, and that was basically the first thing Anthony said, like, when I started training, he, he was like, man, why don't you do any of your, your takedowns, your takedown game is good, why don't you do that? And we had like a couple of weeks before I, I got my fight in Hamburg uh, two years ago and um, that was the time, you know, I, I could see improvement but now it has been almost one and a half years mm -hmm. and we worked a lot on, on, on everything. And um, here's the thing, like I'm, I'm kind of curious how that's <laughs> going to turn out. It was a long layoff and now I'm like, you know, I actually, I was pretty much disappointed with some of my performances um, although I'm on a three fight winning streak but still like I didn't show any of, of the potential I felt like I, I should have so um yeah, I'm, I'm curious too on, on the 12th of May. Well it's so cool because in a way um you could be a brand new fighter, right? Like I, I was talking to Alexander Gustafson, same, same thing in a way, he had some injuries it made him have time off, which isn't always a bad thing, right? You could come back yeah. totally differently. So um, that said, you know, with your division being so intense, you have to make a mark. Yes. So, so how, uh, you know, are you nervous about having a little ring rest or do you feel now reinvigorated? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. No, seriously. Like I, I, um, I don't make a fuss about it. I'm, I'm nervous. Yeah. Like, like every fighter is usually around that time. I, you know, it doesn't leave me un unfazed. You know, I'm I'm nervous and I, I want to improve. You know, I've the feeling I've always run behind my experience, uh, my my expectations, mm -hmm. and um, so that fight. You know, and then it's against a really tough opponent, yeah. Brazilian in Brazil. You know, I I you know I expect everybody to boo me in the octagon and boo me out of the octagon again. Like I am, you know, I've been mentally preparing for that. But yes, I. I'm expecting a lot in this fight because, man, it has been like one and a half years layoff, but constantly training.
you know if 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 that doesn't improve anything you know i'm i don't know maybe i, s I try golf or something <laughs> seriously if that doesn't i have to do something different golf is fun it's hard though it's hard but listen hey there's also a lot of germans in brazil though aren't there there are some and there's gonna uh, some of my fans are actually going there i know of a of a bigger group that is traveling there and i'm um you know it's Man, I, I, I feel honored, you know, that that's they great. support me like this. Yeah, that's really great. Well, so let's talk about um, your German fan base, because obviously you are a big deal. If people don't know this, you're not only uh, a fighter, you're also, you, your nickname's a sergeant because you were, is it a special ops? Like, what was it that you actually did? I was a, con uh, it's called a control and patrol officer, but, you know, inside of my heart I was always special ops, you know. I, I was ready. If something was going, I was ready. Nothing happened ever in my time, but if there would have happened something, you know, I would have been ready. You would have been ready. But then you also had, he was also in a sit. you were on a sitcom, right? Yeah, I was in a comedy show, yeah. And it was quite quite a fun time. That is how I touched base with uh, television, and now I'm, I'm actually working on, on two projects um, that are basically every time I, I'm in Germany, you know, I oh, Man, you gotta help me with that word because right. invest. Investigation, investigative reporting. In, in, yeah. Investigative, exactly what yeah. she's saying. <laughs> that am I, I'm doing in yeah. Germany. Um, and then another show where I work with criminal juveniles, actually, okay, right. and I, I try to put them on the right path. So, um, yeah. With, with sport? With, with MMA? Or? I beat them up. Yeah. If they don't behave, you know, they get the fist of righteous. No, no, no. I'm basically. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. <laughs> yes. No, no. It's it's. But yeah, like yeah. I try to get them on, but also because of the police past, of right, course. Right, yeah. Right. So, so no, that's pretty great. It's nice to know that you could have other careers uh, outside of fighting. But how long will you do this now? Because you did sort of get a new lease on life, right? Um, so, are you? Do you still have a lot of fights left on your contract? Where are you in all that situation? I I got a brand new untouched contract right now, okay. and it is a four fight contract. Contract. I was supposed to have my first in Rotterdam, and here's the thing: like uh, I have those other things, and I and I like and l like them really a lot. But the thing is, like in my heart, I feel there's a lot of things still that have to be done, and um, I really feel I will never have peace if I if I never reach that fighting potential and that's why i, I want to focus on the f on the fighting for the next time which means like the the prime of my career i'm yesterday was my birthday i uh, i feel um i gotta i gotta at least the next three years you know it's it's fight fight for fight and yeah. A lot of W's, ho hopefully. Were you able to celebrate it all? Since you kind of have to get your weight on point. It was awesome, you yeah. know. We we had we had Shark Tank sparring in the morning. You know, they beat me up, and then you know I I, I could top that with some interval sprints and oh, LA so Fitness. Good. It was it yeah, was that's, that's great. A good time. It was great, yeah. So I don't call me on my birthday. I yeah, <laughs> man. I, well, I I can't wait for Christmas though. Let's see what's what's going on then. So um. While you've been gone, uh, the division has gone through some upheaval. Um, you know Conor McGregor, obviously. Right now, we don't really know what this is. I heard of that yeah, guy. He's he's famous, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. But just this past weekend, Kevin Lee had a great dominant fight with Edson Barboza. Tony was the champ. Tony was kind of his title was taken away because he got injured. You know, obviously, you know the story. There's a mess up there. Um, what do you even think about the division? Who do you consider the champion of your division? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So here's the thing: like, um, since I since I started com competing, especially in the UFC, things have changed so much. You know, I feel like people came after me that went before me again. You know, I I, I was kind of in a like a winter sleep, winter nap. Um, Right now, I, I feel the the righteous champion is the belt holder, and that is Khabib, you know. So, um, and from then on, you know, I think all those guys you mentioned have have a have a chance to, and are going to get their chance. They are in, in place. So right now, I, I was actually in Arizona. I, I saw that outstanding performance, and then last weekend, uh, Kevin Lee, he mm -hmm. did really great. So yeah, I. I mean, there's a lot of main events coming, you know, and I have some time to, to make my way up there. So, yeah, I don't, um, to be honest, I don't care too much. You know, it's going to change a lot of times anyways. Well, it's a great thing that you have uh, time ahead of you. You've got your health. We're going to knock wood on that um, to make a mark in the division. So I think it's great. I'm really looking forward to seeing you back in action. And I feel like going to Arizona was part of that, right? Did you get inside the octagon and try to maybe uh, pre-vis, do a little visualization and get your, just sort of get that feeling back? Is that, that right? Is, that is actually w exactly what we did. So, yeah. 
Smart. <laughs> no, it's 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 um, the mental game. You know, for me, uh, has been since since my last fights, like um, a big big construction mm -hmm. site. You know, I was we were working on that, and especially visual oh man, visualization. All the, all yes, words. <laughs> What is it with the? We'll the get to how much German I know in just a yeah. moment. So you will, you all feel just as uh, as embarrassed. Yeah. So <laughs> that thing she was mentioning, yes. that is uh, what we have been working a lot yeah. because, um, yeah, it, it has yes. to be right here to to be able to get put in reality. Yes. Well, you're going to be doing a lot of interviews pretty soon. The word is pre-visualization. Previsual, you got Visual, yes. previs, previs, just say previs. Previs, 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 previs. Okay, so here's the part. I feel like I do this every time with you, uh, but it's been a couple of years now, so I have to see if I still remember. Uh, I know how to talk, uh, speak a little bit of German. I yes. can count to twelve, yes. and I know the word for pineapple. And I learned this when I was in Jamaica as a kid um, on holiday, and there were German people there, and we hung out. So here I go: okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf. Zek, sieben, acht, non, zehn, elf, schwelf, ananas. Ananas, perfect. Bam! Perfect. That is Bam! Like Look at that. Fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Killed it. All right. So that's me. I'm an international woman, Nick. Um, listen, I'm really happy to catch up with you. It's been way, way, way too long. Uh, really looking forward. I'll be at the desk in the uh, studio, so hopefully we'll be doing some highlights of your win over Dobby Ramos. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. And and what what, what does what does on on you speak Portuguese, right? Oh, yeah. What does excuse me for beating up your champion mean? <laughs> well, just say disculpe. 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 Just, just means I'm sorry. Okay. You know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time, Nick. Best of luck. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, this is Sarge Nick Hein, and you are watching MMA Heat. Hallo Leute, hier ist euer Sarge Nick Hein, und ihr schaut euch MMA Heat an.